everybody. How are you guys? We're continuing our series on baseball terms and we're getting such a great reaction. People are saying, hey, appreciate you guys putting out some clear videos on these terms. I'm new to the sport and I didn't know. So this is a simple one, I guess, but for people that are not familiar at all, it might help. And that's the concept of load the bases. Now, load the bases goes back again like many of these terms to the early days of the sport where you know stealing at base wasn't really that much it wasn't as big a part of the sport as it is now and so sometimes the running coach or the head coach or somebody a trainer would be yelling at a player steal 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 second steal third go go right and the players would stand there like, why? Why would we do that? Right? Let's just wait till the guy hits it, and then I'll run. And they're like, no, we talked about this in the meeting. You got to steal. It's part of the game. So a lot of these players were coming from other sports. They were coming from other countries. So remember, in some of these countries that the early baseball players are from, if you stole something, they would I mean, you're talking about life in prison, okay, for stealing a salt shaker because your family had a salt and pepper shaker, but then one of the babies uh, took the salt shaker and threw it out the window of the house and it landed on a passing truck. And the next thing you know, it, it, it ended up in uh, some dump in Germany, okay? So that's why they had to promote the idea of stealing bases. So they would literally load the bases. So they would take the base, the actual base itself, and load it with money, with gold, with silver, with uh, anything of value, playboys, right? Because a lot of these new, uh, new players were coming from countries that didn't have the freedoms of America. They weren't used to playboys being available. So they would stuff the base and they would say to them in the meeting before the game, look, if you steal the base, you can keep what's in the base. So that's why the, the, that style, see, they didn't used to, the, in the old days, they would slide feet first, okay, into a base. Those that actually were prompted to steal or were encouraged or didn't have any problem with it, but that was rare. So then when they started loading the bases with money, Okay, that's when you got the head first sliding style on the stomach, the Pete Rose style. That, that evolved from these players now that were incentivized trying to get to that money as fast as possible. And the way to do that is to run and slide on your belly with your hands outstretched. And that's how that style of sliding came into being is when they loaded the bases with actual cash. Then the player would stand up, reach inside the base, and pull it out, pull out whatever incentive was in there. And it really changed the game. Now today, players are paid so much money, there's, and they are incentivized to steal the base just from stealing it and winning the game. Okay, but picture picture back in 1891, trying to get somebody to steal a base, and they don't, and they came from a country where if they stole something. They might be in the gulag for the rest of their life, uh, eating mushroom soup and pencil shavings, okay? So that's really where the concept came from of loading the bases. I hope that helps.